Yes. Ben oui. Alors là, ça va? Sérieux, tes vidéos sont écœurantes, mon Un gros merci, yes. Ben. Non, c'est bien correct. Je vais recommencer mon intro. So, hi guys, my name is JP. Welcome to Freeride Quebec. Today we're in beautiful Sancier du Moulin in Quebec City. And I just met some people that do speak English. They're probably from Vermont, I guess. So, hi to you guys. And you're in luck because today I'm going to be filming a video in English. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. I've got a new subscriber that do speak English now. So I'm trying to make one of these once in a while. So that shows a Sentier de Moulin for this one in English. So I'll see you on top. So we'll start the day with a small jump line, which is called La Sauce Picante. So if you guys come to Sentier de Moulin for the first time, be advised that this one is an easy jump line, so don't go full speed ahead of here because you'll clear the landing just like I did. So it's nice just to have a small flow just to get the speed for these. So it's super flowy. Perfect to start the day. Oh. We'll switch to big one. So, second one. It's a more advanced trail called Habanero. It's been a while since I rode this one. I'm gonna be just a tad careful because I saw that they changed all the hips. So far, so good. And the third jump, well, oh, not that bad. <laughs> Just passing the drop of the King Kong. It's always neat when you have someone dropping while you're passing by. <laughs> so we're gonna start with a slow tech one, which is called the Lama Mouth. This is a brand new trail that I went this year. And I need to be focused. <laughs> We're beginning because it's a hard one. Very hard one. Very hard one. <laughs> First part is the beginning like this. I think I did one mistake on top. <laughs> okay. Worst part is done so I can start talking again. So the Mammoth is a brand new one that opened on the first sector of the Sun City Moulin. This is a project that's been built by three others that do give a lot of time here in Sun City Moulin has been made by Etienne jean Philippe, and I think I'm gonna forget um, the name of the third person so I'll, I'll write it down in the comments so basically Santé's morning was doing a blue trail called La Fabuleuse and they found those gems of slabs around the trail but it wasn't suited perfectly for a blue trail even in Santé du morning so they decided to keep that slab in mind and they arrived with that project which is basically a mix between slow tech and flow. So basically alternate <laughs> between those more speedy section like this and then you go back to slow tech and north shore bridges. So I had a pleasure to ride this trail a bit before everybody and give my two cents about it and honestly I'm impressed with what the guy built around here. Danger, we like danger. That's one of the parts you need to be focused. Here we go. 
so far so good. I think I just missed the part in the beginning, so. I haven't done the most lap on this one. I think it's my third one. And basically commenting everything that happens language is on my own. It's kind of tricky, but eh. you can give it a thumbs up if you think for a French-speaking person, I do a decent job. <laughs> I'm presenting the mammoth. So, oh, that was amazing. Mission's neat. Careful on this one. Transfer the weight. Very good. When I did it the first time, it was like pouring rain. It was kind of hard to nail the whole thing without sliding and dying. You can't even understand how much work has been done to build these things. All the work has been done to place all these rocks in formation. Here we go. I'm good. back on the wild enduro so let's say they don't work on the runneth the same way as my combo of the Astagai and the HR2 not too much air oh that's my balance in this one oh let's bend the mammoth yes Oh, that was cool. So, it needs a junction and we'll go back on top. Nice. <laughs> so, next one, it's gonna be the famous Super G. So, DH mode on push 11 6. And um, I'll ask you guys to be followed and because I don't do this one very often. So I don't know all the lines, I don't know all the drops, and I don't know how to do it super fast. So please bear with me. So the famous Super G. I'm gonna well known trail here in Santé du Moulin. Probably the one that's been most ridden according to Trail Fork. So, to the best of my knowledge, it's still a favorite track on Trail Fork here in Quebec. So, it's a gem of a trail that have pretty much everything in it. From speed to jumps and gaps, bit of tech, hop. Oh. All right, I don't have course course, shit. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that rock's not supposed to be there. Yep, so no course core. Trying to get too flat. <laughs> so basically the bike was supposed to be so, and I was selling it without my cash score but then I was like nah I'm not starting the reckoning so half of it done conditions are neat blow the leaves this morning I guess because not a single one in trail oh it's been a bit dry with all the rain that we've got that's rising but hey So as I said, I don't do this one often, once or twice a year. So 
I can't do it real fast because I don't spend enough time trying to learn it because hey I ride everywhere so done with the first part second part starts now so at some point it's gonna be changing to what we called the boss to Super G somewhere around here I think yeah right here in any case, same trail, different challenge. This section is so easy to lap. There's a lot of lesson here with all the groups for the women. Whoa! I want to fix my rebound. Pretty long trail, a couple minutes, so uh, kind of hard to talk all the way through. <laughs> so far, so good. Pretty much near the end. <sighs> oh, god. Hey, no flat so far, it's good. <sighs> Love that trail. <laughs> Don't be the old cabin. <laughs> Last drop. There you go, that was a super G. Bye bye. Oh, please. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to switch back to English, right? So. Am I gonna flat? Probably. So, this one is gonna be the LB2, probably on the flat. That's gonna be fun. Did I ever done LBT on the flat? Hmm. Not sure. Yep, so I need to put my crush core back. I won't survive often without them. <laughs> so, LB2 is gonna be the last one of the day. Flat or not, I think I'm gonna call my quit after this one. Uh, we'll have beer. So, this section of rocks are kind of tricky. You need to have well balanced adjustment on your suspension. Right now, I'm lacking a bit. I'm not finding excuses. Usually, I'm riding with a loft cap on my Zeb. That's uh, fork modification that I love and I removed it before selling my bike but then I changed the idea and decided to keep it so just need to open up the zip put the lift, back, lift cap back so now I do lack some small bomb sensitivity that is honestly a bit lacking on the zip at least on the first version, the 2020-2021, for, for a lightweight rider for me, like me. So, so far so good, I think I don't have a flat, that's a good thing. Oh, they changed that route. Oh shit, that suck. Okay. Up. This first LB2 of the year. Watch what I'm doing. Honestly, it ain't my fastest one. Not at all, in fact. Oh, 
That's a trail that you definitely need a lot of concentration to do perfectly. Oh no, I'm not fast, I can't see it. Yep. But hey, at least I got to see one of my friends from high school, so hey, that's the best part, right? On the last section, so far so good. This correct. Oh, some maybe had. Wow, and that was the old B two. So I hope you like this one. Small video in English, so. For me, I'm gonna go to La Buvette to have a brand new IP. I think they just released, if my knowledge of the IPs are good. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart to listen to this one, with GP, and we'll see you in the next episode of Free Ride Quebec. Yeah, I'm flat. I just did the LB2 on the flat. Damn. That's gonna cost me a tire. Oh, shit.